The Radiation Injury Treatment Network, or RITN, is a group of cancer hospitals from across the United States that was formed in 2006 to respond to a radiological disaster resulting in mass casualties with marrow toxic injuries. No one wants to think about a scenario that would result in a radiological disaster. However, if the U.S. was the target of a radiological disaster, Cancer hospitals across the U.S. would be called upon to care for patients with acute radiation syndrome, also known as ARS. ARS symptoms and treatment are very similar to the symptoms of some cancer patients, particularly those with blood cancers. These patients will require intensive supportive care, but can survive with the dedication of medical professionals that work with cancer patients every day. Many people in the receiving medical communities will likely be concerned about an influx of patients from a radiological disaster. That's why we're here today and ready to answer your questions. The floor is now open. Yeah, yeah. we are not a yeah. Oh, one at a time, please. Uh, how will we be able to care for a surge of patients if this radiological disaster just happened to us in our city? RITN centers will only be asked to receive ARS patients from a distant incident. If your local community is affected by a radiological incident, it'll take all of your resources to respond to that incident. Uh, thank you. And can you explain how they will get here? These are excellent questions. Patients will be transported by the National Disaster Medical System, also known as NDMS, which is operated by the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, yes, what's your question? Okay, so we should expect to see a surge of patients. After we treat them, who will pay for all that care? That's another great question. Part of the National Disaster Medical System incorporates payment for patients they transport who do not have their own insurance coverage. What about the safety of our hospital team? What will they be exposed to as they care for these patients? I understand your concern. However, once decontaminated, the patients are no more dangerous than a patient that's received an x-ray. How will you ensure they are decontaminated? Thank you for asking that question. Before transportation by NDMS, patients will be inspected for radiological contamination and decontaminated if necessary. Any radioactive contamination that may have been on them has been removed. How will we handle patients with severe trauma? Well, in the event of a radiological mass casualty incident, there will be three groups of patients. First, those with traumatic injuries those with radiation-only injuries, and those with both or combined injuries. RITN centers are experts in caring for patients with only radiation injuries. Trauma patients and combined injury patients are not the focus of RITN centers. NDMS-affiliated hospitals with trauma care capabilities will care for those patients with trauma. There are many more specifics about the RITN, which we just don't have time to cover here. However, there are many training resources that cover information on the flow of patients to your hospital, basic radiation training, uh, treatment guidelines, referral guidelines, as well as communication tips for reassuring others who may ask you or your team questions like those asked here today. All of these resources will help your team be prepared should you ever be called upon to help care for patients from a radiological incident. Thanks for your time and attention and interest in learning more about the Radiation Injury Treatment Network.